Why do I keep saying color correct? Some big city, small girl. I've been big dreaming in a small everybody welcome to my channel my name is my dada and if this is your first time stopping by i'd love to say thank you for stopping by and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so i decided to make this video today because one of the things that i've struggled with over this past few years has always been acne they're always coming and going and along the line a lot of them tend to leave really dark marks and it's so difficult for me to like take it away and it's so sad. <laughs> I remember I, I don't know you used to cry about it. Like it's too sad for me. But I decided to just do this video because one thing I struggled with working with is you know minimalistic look, natural looks, and all that. I'll be doing this mini tutorial on I have acne scars, but I still want to look like I'm glowing from within. <sighs> yes. I think it's very possible for um, you know people with acne to like look like they're glowing from within, especially when you have real dark acne scars. Like for me, one thing that I've been able to put under control is my acne. So, but right now, the one thing I'm struggling with is my are my acne scars, and I can't wear makeup to be honest. But I still felt like you know what, I might as well just do this video since it's almost summer and everybody out here you know trying to rep the full glow kind of face bits so I'ma just get started the first thing I'll be doing is drawing my eyebrows you don't want to fully draw your eyebrows you just want to like cause I have thick eyebrows not like thick thick but I still have the kind of eyebrows that I would want <laughs> so I'm just gonna fill my eyebrows I'm using my Lori oh dang it's Revlon I'm using my Revlon um eyebrow pencil is the Revlon color stay so I'm gonna be using that to fill in my eyebrows a little bit yeah. 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 you want to go in a light way that's what I'm doing so next after applying that I am um, just gonna brush it I'm gonna grab my angle brush and use like my foundation shade to like color correct. I said <laughs> I'm gonna use like my foundation shade to you know try to like make it look a little bit clean. Just a little bit. They don't have to match because you know we're still going for a natural look. I'm going with my Lancome. I feel good sometimes I don't feel the next thing I want to do is go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and apply it all over my face. I like to apply it like a moisturizer sometimes, especially when I'm trying to do this look. So I'm just gonna rub it in between the hair. This was so weird. It's going in with your foundation. I'm using my Lancome Idol Ultra Wear. This is literally my favorite foundation down to earth. I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques blender and just my beauty blender and just apply a little bit around everywhere. You just want to keep blending that, you know. I have more scars around my sides, so I'm just gonna like make sure like I add a little bit more, not so much. I went with one pump, it's still not enough, so I'm gonna go in with another pump and let's see whether or not that works out well. Blend that out. Blend that. I'm gonna be very honest. If you have a problem with your scars showing, this might not be the thing that you want to do. But I'm only using two pumps because I really don't have a problem with my scars showing. 
So like everybody around me already knows that I have acne scars. So it's like there's really no point. I can just try to cover it up. On days I don't want to look like I'm wearing makeup, but you know I'm still wearing a little bit of makeup. So I'm just gonna keep blending that out. And the best part about this foundation is like it oxidizes to my um shade, like my real color. So it's like really good. It's looking my favorite. <laughs> I just said okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is going in with my concealer. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and just applying a little bit underneath my eyes. Not so much because we're we are not trying to contour. So yeah. Yeah. I'm also gonna like add a little bit right here. No. bit on my forehead I'm not gonna go in with a lot I'm just gonna blend that I always use the same area that I used to blend my foundation to blend out the concealer underneath my eyes so that I can still maintain the you know it can still look like my skin and I still go in all the way to my eye I I'm not going to set my face underneath that area because I'm still trying to achieve a glowy look but at the same time I'm st I am I just don't want to because I, I really do love glowy looks I feel like they're like the best thing that I don't know it really makes you look like you're glowing from within so I don't want to set that because the powder is going to make it look weird in my opinion don't quote me on my words that's just how I feel so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my fancy my fancy contour stick. I got the shade is espresso. I feel like it's the darkest shade, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on my words. But I got this because every other thing that I try to contour my face with doesn't work. So I'm just gonna go in around this area. I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm gonna go in to my eyelids and apply my fancy contour stick just so that it could look like you know it's really natural and I look you know like I, just, I don't know I don't know what to say <laughs> but I'm just gonna go in and apply it to like my crease area I'm just gonna go in and use the teeth to like blend that. Just a little bit. And use my fingers to make it look, you know, accentuated. Whichever way you like it, honestly. I really cannot do without applying mascara. Like, it's literally my favorite thing on earth to do. So, I'm just gonna go in and just apply my mascara. I'm going to use my Morphe Flats brush, I think that's what it's called, and apply my Colourpop, um, ColourPop in the shade Avalon Eyeliner around my cheekbones, my nose, and you know, it's still trying to achieve that glow, so. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to go in with my Morphe brush again and apply just a little bit. Last thing, I'm just gonna go in a little bit and contour my nose. I'm really big on contouring my nose. So, despite the fact that I have acne scars, I can still recognize like my natural birthmarks. I have one around here, and it's something that I always want to show, but I don't know. I just don't want people to be like, oh, despite the fact, I don't know. I just don't know. So I have this one birthmark around this area that I really love. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of black liner. Just accentuate it. I'm gonna go in with my Mario Badoski and just spray it all over my face. 
to you know give me a little bit of glowy look i need you guys to remember that i didn't really use powder at all but it's about to be summer so you know i'll still go with this look right away i'm gonna go back and use vaseline around my lips at the time i always use on lip gloss right now for my lip gloss anyway <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that all your scars cannot be covered up with this method, which is fine. I don't think anybody needs to be so worried about their flaws and everything. It's just coming from me. I don't know if anybody cares. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat. You know, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the channel, join the family, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. This wasn't bad after all. Yeah, that's not it.